What's up everyone, I am Alex and today we will talk about 8 security and privacy settings you should look into when you get your new iPhone 13 Pro. This works with all the iPhone 13 lineup but also with all the versions, so let's get it started. You might have seen those videos where in a couple the girl takes the iPhone while the guy sleeps and manages to unlock it by placing the phone in front of the guy's face for Face ID to recognize the face. Those days are over because the True Depth camera provides an additional level of security by verifying that you are looking at the phone if and only if you turn on this setting. So go to Settings, Face ID and Passcode, Attention and turn on Require Attention for Face ID. Since we are at this topic, there is another thing you might consider looking into. Go to Settings, Face ID and Passcode, Allow Access when Locked and switch off the apps that you think will do some harm if they were used by someone who got their hands on your phone. To give you a scenario, someone wants to play your prank, will get hold of your iPhone left on the desk, turn on the camera and burst shot all kind of photos that will burn through the memory or iCloud. Or someone can activate Siri and set up an alarm at 3 in the morning. If you don't want that, go to Settings, Siri and Research and Disable Allow Siri when locked. You can block inappropriate content on your iPhone and you can also restrict some services like share location. To do that, go to settings, screen time and enable content and privacy restrictions. At privacy, you can select which apps can have access to your location or to the photos or to the microphone and so on. I feel like Apple focuses a lot on privacy, which is a good thing. We all know that all the sites we access want a piece of us, want to track us and spam us with ads or share the information with other parties. Well, if you go to settings, safari, scroll all the way down to privacy and security, there are two settings that you might want to consider. Turn on prevent cross-site tracking and hide IP address from trackers. The less information we share, the better for our privacy. With this feature, Apple requires app developers to ask for permission before they track your activity across apps and websites. When you decline to give permission of the app to track your activity, the app is prevented from accessing your device's AI, Advertising Identifier. You can do that if you go to Settings, Privacy, Tracking, Enable or Disable Request to Track. The next settings that I will show you can save life when the individual is in danger. Imagine someone walking on a dark alley, starts to be followed by a group of people. Without them knowing, the individual can call an emergency contact without looking at the phone or without taking the phone out of the pocket. To do that, head over to Settings, Emergency SOS and enable Call with Side Button. In case of emergency, rapidly press the Side Button 5 times to call an emergency contact. If you want to power off the iPhone, you will see here that it says the iPhone is findable after power off. Even if it's turned off, you should be able to find the iPhone using Find My app. Find My iPhone is always on even when the iPhone is turned off. The last setting on my list is more of a safe mode if you let your children play with your iPhone. You can set up an account for a child to review the screen time report and set downtime and limits for specific apps directly from your own device. Go to Settings, Screen Time, scroll all the way down and tap on Set up Screen Time for Family. Then you can create an account for a child. Think of it as a way to guide your children rather than controlling them. There you have it, 8 tips and tricks to keep your iPhone secure and look after your privacy. If you want to see more videos like this one, like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.